rotation. And as we are seeing so far after that first rotation, John, it looks like that sisterhood bond is pretty powerful. And they will continue to be teammates after they're done with their elite competition as they're slated to be teammates at the University of Florida where Mackenzie just finished her first year as a collegiate gymnast. As we finish up the warm-up here, Bridget Cucuato hopes that's not a trend as she gets out the kinks and gets ready for her second event here at the Visa Championships in St. Paul, and we will also see a world champion, Alicia Sacramone. Seventeen-year-old Bridget Cacuato gets ready for her second event, the uneven bars, currently sitting in a tie for second place after one rotation. Can we glean anything from the early standings, or is it just early standings? Well, they're early standings, no question, but I tell you, if this young lady can put together four strong events here tonight, and then again in the finals, she is a force, but... You know, talking to her dad, or not her dad, her coach, Lee Uejo, and he said, you know, she's so great, but, oh, so frustrating because she just can't seem to put it all together. And this potentially has one of the highest start values in the competition, and it's an area where USA is a little bit weak right now, so she's trying to... And again, another... I can't finish my thought. Yeah, <laughs> she just... Trying to wow Marta is what I was going to say, but... Nowhere near that handstand position and just could not recover from it and how big is a great bar routine at this meet tim isn't that if it is one of the weak spots for the united states i mean for her to hit it's huge it is huge it's, it's very similar on the men's side to having a great pommel horse routine and, for and team that, usa and that's the key hit marta crowley wants to see hit 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 many times over i think the sweat is starting to trickle down her brow after that routine she needs to see some good bars and unfortunate for bridget Swato. Yeah, that was, uh, that was very disappointing, without a doubt, because she does have the potential there. But potential doesn't add up to too much if you miss the bar. Someone who wants to turn it around after a rough larger size is the world champion on this event, Alicia Sacramone. And if you're talking about what's going to put people on a world team or Olympic team for Alicia, this is it. There's no question. Uh, her vault is, is certainly the strength for Team USA, that, that's something that they need. They actually have a group of vaulters that are have much improved, but she is a world champion, a reigning world champion on this event because of this first vault right here. Watch this. Huge power. So easy for her. The only place for improvement is stick that vault. Yeah. And every time I see it, my first thought step. is she is bailing out of that. She needs to parachute. Yeah. And you expect her to stick it, but she always seems to have that step back. You know, I, 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 I think that her ankles just, you know, if, for to stick this vault with the power, the height, and the distance that she has, she really needs to come in under-rotated. Look Let's look at her body. The position, her shoulders are just too far over her feet and that makes it impossible just hold to that put laid that. out position just a little bit longer but the power department look at is that awesome it is huge but so is that step right there it seems like her power is getting better over time and that's usually not the case i mean that vault is as good as i've ever seen her she's do in the best shape of her life she admits that she's eating well. She's been seeing a nutritionist. She's turned her life around. And you know, this comeback that she had a year ago, she said for Chelsea Memel to come back this year, Sean Johnson, she said, I couldn't do it. Too much pressure. I needed the year before. I needed two years leading up to the games. She's actually going to do two vaults. If you're competing for the all-around title, you don't have to do two vaults, but in a major world championships or an Olympic games to be eligible for the event finals and then to win an event medal, you have to do not just two vaults, but you have to do them from what are called two different families. So the first vault, she did a forward facing vault, handspring vault, this one, she'll do a half turn onto the board. And to give you an idea of how good that first vault was, a 15 point, or a 15.75 only beats Bridget and McKenzie, who were in second by over a point. So that is, it's a huge number. Big. But you know what, that was, just, that was just good for Alicia, to be perfectly honest, because both of those had, like we said, big steps on the landing. She's 
working on upgrading can actually do an extra half twist on both of those vaults. I think she's going to need to do that to defend her title. Back over to the uneven bars, looking for that great uneven bar routine yet. And this girl could deliver. Anna Lee graduated from UCLA last year and now trying to reignite her elite career. And this is the highest start value in the competition if she's able to put it all together. Survive the routine. Watch this. Very tricky. Now she'll connect this. It's called a Horkina. Beautiful combination. And she has such lovely long lines. Also a very tricky combination. Just gives her tons of bonus. She'll do a full twisting double layout. You know, only the double layout plays it a little safe. And I think it was a good choice. She's Goes for the hip. Really <laughs> struggled with the endurance at the end of this. <laughs> so that's not just coach, but that's yeah. mom and dad. You know, she finished up her college career, and they were like, okay, you're done. You can come help us at the gym. And she's like, no, I'm not done. Jordan Weaver gets ready on the floor exercise. We saw her beam routine a little bit rough for her, but she is in fourth place, certainly with an opportunity to make a move here. Huge power on this first tumbling run right here. Jordan says she couldn't love a sport any more than she loves gymnastics. She loves the performance part, competition. And that routine much more what we are accustomed to seeing from Jordan Weaver. Nicely done. I agree. With Jordan Weaver and Alicia Sacramone on floor exercise in London for the United States, they better have high feelings because those two can get up in the air. Back over to the uneven bars, Mackenzie Cuquato. Following uh, the first 15, I believe, on the uneven bars, Anna Lee put up a 15.05. Her teammate. And as we said, she's a University of Florida, Florida competitor, but also was on the last world championship team. And really, she earned her ticket to those games with this exercise right here, the uneven bars. Since Beijing, the U.S. has been trying to figure out a way to get a team that can compete with the Chinese on the uneven bars, and she's one of the people that can help them do that. Very clean, good handstand positions. It's the dismount. Well, the selection committee has a very difficult uh, task ahead of them, trying to figure out this very intricate puzzle of putting together a world championship team. Awesome. Yeah. We just saw two good bar teams from, you know, some of the athletes that we don't necessarily consider as, as the big dogs here at this competition, so that could put a little bit more of a uh, challenge in the equation. Back over to the balance beam, the Terminator, Rebecca Bross, has the opportunity to see how hard is this 
to see if she can get this back on track on the balance beam of all things after having a miss on the bars. Well, she, she wasn't happy with bars, that's for sure. She's she's tough on herself. She doesn't need Valeri to tell her what she did wrong. So I would expect that she's going after this routine. But it's difficult. Big right here. Very nice. Jordan Weaver on floor, by the way, at 14.9. That of course, trains in the same gym as Nastia Lukin and Carly Patterson, the back-to-back -back Olympic all-around champions. Plano, Texas. Oh, goodness. Just unreal. Yeah. That was, that was shocking. She has not competed since the last World Championships, and we asked her about coming here and repeating the national title. She said, hey, I'm just happy to be getting back to competition. Another balance check, and she has been struggling on this next skill all week long. Right here, the side flip. Perfect. Really came off on probably the easiest acrobatic move she has. And right now, right here, the most difficult this is the toughest one. And she has really not been great at this. Oh, goodness. Just not enough juice left to get that around. Oh, that is catastrophic for the first two events rebecca bross she has three major errors so far two events and two rough events for our defending national champion rebecca bross her and valeria lucan i'm sure have got a lot to talk about